What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Retro Aviation. Hope you're having a fantastic day today. And today we have another massive release reaction for you all. I really hope all of you are excited for today's video as today we have some really cool aircraft to take a look at and I'm really eager to see what we have here. That being said, let's just go ahead and get started everybody. All right, back to in-flight we go here. Here we have an Olympic Airbus E319 Sierra X-Ray Oscar Alpha Foxtrot. Cool livery on this one, a little bit different than what you would typically see. Obviously, most of them have the polished one, but this is great to see this livery right here with that really unique cheat line. So definitely a cool release right here and will prove quite powerful for all of our folks that like Olympic Airlines. Next, we have uh, literally a Teal L188. Uh, this is news to me. <laughs> this is Zulu Kilo... <laughs> Zulu Kilo Tango Echo Bravo Teal Jet Prop. Uh, yeah, that's a heck of a deal. Anyway, cool plane right here. Uh, completely blows me away. I have no idea who Teal is, but they have an L188 and it's available for purchase from in flight. So that will take care of that, but definitely a cool livery. And at least they have the right colors on there. So you do have to give them that regardless. A little bit more traditional here. Here we have a Mexicana DC 10 15. November 1003 Yankee, probably registering at the Delaware to save some money. Cool to see, it's a nice livery and great to see Mexicana getting several releases here, especially in one to 200. So no doubt it's been a productive month for, or rather a productive several years for all those collectors. So that's great to see. Okay, this is a really big release. Uh, In-flight 200, one of the 200 school United Airlines, Airbus A320 Blue Tulip, November 439 Uniform Alpha, and it is looking gorgeous. So the amount of throwback United plans we've had lately has been incredible. This has been a wallet-breaking year for one 200 United throwback collectors. Blue Tulip's just going to add a little bit more to that. So yeah, very nice to see. That's definitely going to be a popular offering. And once again, a really cool release there from In-flight there, really knocking it out of the park with some of these. Here's another really good one, a Turkish Airlines Airbus A350. 900 Tango Charlie Lima Golf Golf. Great to see this aircraft. I love the Turkish 350. I've only got a glance of it. Haven't got to get a really great capture of it yet, at least that I can remember. I probably have, but anyway, this is a great plane to see and definitely proved powerful for any of those folks that are interested in such an aircraft. So really cool to see that along with another great diverse release here in the Qantas Freight Airbus E321 Victor Hotel X-Ray Foxtrot 4. Great plane right here, awesome to see. The A321 is a very capable plane. It's gonna be the next 757 essentially. So wonderful to see with regards to when it gets retired and all that way down the road here, you know, at what people think of it is what I'm trying to say. So great to see this release here. And once again, another very cool aircraft right here for in-flight, this is great. We have an ATA L1011 with the Hawaii tail. This has got the pleasant Hawaii Hawaiian holidays, excuse me, and it's gonna be number one, 92 Alpha Tango. Kind of surprised that they didn't go for vacations instead of holidays. Holidays is more of a phrase you would hear in different continents of the world, but they definitely got down with this aircraft regardless. So cool to see that. And again, it will be another very nice aircraft to see right there. A cool Avianca Special Airbus E320. This is November 954 Alpha Victor. Great to see Avianca continuing to get quite a bit of representation in 1 to 200. Although I'm really missing the red right here from the previous iteration of delivery. It is what it is, but definitely looked nice with that but we just got to get used to it so you know it's one of those that you just got to work with so that's that okay we got a house livery 737 900 this aircraft is number 737 x-ray cool to see this one i always think it's nice to try to fully utilize molds like this in this case the 900 without the winglets great looking plane and definitely will have value to some collector in some capacity so cool to see that if not multiple collectors a day and air 727 200 it released right here it's golf golf papa november yankee great to see i think delivery is quite nice on this one another release here that really utilizes the 727 to its fullest potential and it definitely looks quite nice so cool to see this aircraft and once again another great offering here for another than in flight Another 727 with this really unique Eastern 727-100 with the sticker. It's November 8119 November. So cool to see that aircraft. I think it's great to get as much variety as you can when you only have so many choices. So awesome to see this. And I'm sure they'll continue to pump out the standard deliveries as we'll see probably next up. And yes, we do. Okay, nice. I thought it was the 727 for a second, so that's why I really jumped. But 707 100 still very popular here for American Airlines. November 7504. So cool to get another 707 for American. Obviously, this was a foundational piece for the airline, and obviously mo them moving over to jets and the jet age in general. So really cool to see this here in the iconic livery. Great to see one of the liveries that made it. I don't know if it has the record for the longest livery of all time, but it's got to be darn close. It was like 
55 years. I think it was 1968 to 2013. So definitely had to make it a long time, but unfortunately the polished livery could, was not quite feasible to keep it to the future. So we got the current one that we have, which is a little bit more cost effective. So that's nice and easier to maintain. So we can approve of it. It's not in the Hero White. So we do have that going for it. A BWIA DC 951 is our next aircraft. It's nine Yankee Tango Golf Papa. Great looking plane right here. It looks really nice. Love the pink purple color on it as well. And overall, it all looks really nice. And you also got the turquoise there at the bottom as well to add some additional flavors. So cool to see. I think this is a great scheme and definitely will prove quite powerful moving forward. A Zoom 767-300. This is going to be Golf Charlie Zulu November Alpha. And thank goodness, no, this is not Zoom, the video connecting software. Or what's the, the meeting software, video meeting software. This is its own company, which is great. So cool to see. I think the blue is really nice. I'm not sure exactly what they did, but I think this would be a European aircraft and airline. So nice to see. It looks nice there to Gen 1. And overall, I'm sure it'll prove powerful for anybody that has memories with Zoom. I'm sure they have passengers. So Great to see that right there. Same song, second verse for the Thomas Cook 77300 Golf Juliet Mike Alpha Alpha. This is a nice livery. I've always really enjoyed this one. So always great to see when they make a throwback aircraft of it. And this is exactly what we have here. Their 753 is really cool. cool. Excuse me, I'm pretty sure Condor ended up getting these. Not exactly sure, but great to see and definitely a very pure, powerful piece of the puzzle. That's great. No kidding. Wow. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm really, I'm really surprised to see this. In-flight's doing a Southwest 737 MAX 8, November 8889 Quebec. I about fell out of my chair with regards to, you know, this, I was, I was, it was like, it was almost a joke, but this is real. So yeah, this is a really impressive release here for them. This is great. So obviously if you don't know the 737 MAX high demand aircraft from you know, the one to 200 market and Gemini's done three of them, but all of them have sold out rather fast. I was fortunate to get one last year at a collectible show with a scratch and dent section. But as of for this, very, very popular aircraft inbound. This is gonna really sell well as long as they knock out that color. Just really surprised, was really not expecting them to do that. But in flights proved that they're capable of doing some popular offerings. This is one great example of that. So yeah, this is a great release right here. And once again, very surprised, but very encouraged and really excited to see what they'll do going forward. Hopefully some specials would be great. So that'll be very popular. So great release right there. That is definitely huge high on the list. The mold is wonderful and they will definitely ballpark that. So really great, really surprised, but that is awesome. So great to see that and definitely was not expecting it in this placement, but there it is. Swiss Air DC 951 up next, Hotel Bravo India Sierra Uniform. Great looking billboard titles along with the tail. I think that chrome aspect of it is really cool or polished. So yeah, that looks really nice. It's a B model as well. So obviously very popular release, so very limited, but definitely go pick it up if you're interested. That's definitely a really nice aircraft. So wonderful to get that right there. And that will definitely be a great release. Another DC 9, a 32 this time for Air Canada, the Charlie Foxtrot Tango Mike Uniform. This older Air Canada delivery has really got some more representation lately. So that's been cool. We've got a 767 with it, I think, and maybe a couple 74s, maybe even like A320 or one of those, but great to get the DC-9 considering how popular these aircraft are. So yeah, that's really impressive and definitely will prove powerful for everybody that's interested in this livery. So great to see that right there. That's awesome. Evergreen's Boeing 747-200, another great release this November 42 Echo Victor. Really want to go to the museum in Oregon that has one of these. That seems really cool. It's pretty remote, which is the downside, but the upside, of course, is seeing this Boeing 747. And that's great to see that they have an exhibit of it. Evergreen seems like an interesting airline, the one that I have the least knowledge on. So interested to learn more about them. I might have to find like a video or equivalent to gain a better understanding. So definitely cool to see that. And another really high quality release, the Air Canada Rouge E321 with fin steps. Charlie Golf Yankee Foxtrot Mike. Another great release right here. Obviously, these have been flying around for quite some time and have proved powerful for Air Canada. So great to see. And ultimately, another very cool release right there. So that's great. Okay, let's continue. We have our Phoenix releases, which... Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and do them. Okay, I think this is an appropriate setting to do them. So here we go. Monarch Airbus E330-200. It's Golf Sierra Mike Alpha November. Great release right here. Nice throwback. So great to see Phoenix continuing to even the playing field with all their cool releases. We have Air China Cargo Airbus A330-200, Bravo 6090, another very high quality release that I'm sure many will appreciate. So that's really great to see right there. Very cool. We'd love to see that. This is a 
Volti, Airbus E320, Echo Charlie, November, November Yankee. Quite a unique airline. Fortunate to see a handful of these. So yeah, this is a really great release and I'm sure many European collectors will be quite excited about it and rightfully so. It's a very cool livery and scheme. Cubana, Airbus A320. I didn't even know this existed. This is really cool. Echo India, Tango Lima Juliet. Another very nice aircraft right here. And once again, I think this hybrid type of livery will really be great for them. And once again, another very unique piece of the puzzle. So Phoenix really in releasing some great releases this year and really keeping the variety up. So we'd love to see that. Air Tanzia, maybe? I'm not exactly sure. 737 Max 8, five hotel, Charlie. Tango Charlie Papa. Huge shout out to Phoenix for beating other companies like JC Wings and NG Models to the party on these really unique I'm thinking this airline's probably from Africa. I might be wrong, but you know, some of these aircraft, very remote, uh, considering what are the main model aircraft landscape is. Obviously, Africa is in a huge model collecting continent, excuse me. So, very cool to see this. I love the draft on the livery. I think there's been a couple of these models done in the past, but really great to get this one here in 400. And once again, will prove powerful for those collectors and anybody else interested. So, very cool to see that. It's a great plane. Phoenix is getting their push here on the Edelweiss E350 as expected. Hotel Bravo India Hotel Charlie will have about 1,500 of those registrations by the time we're done, but that's good. The better, uh, the more competition, the better. So definitely another really nice release right there. That's cool to see. Australian Airlines A340-300 is a really cool throwback. Oscar Echo Lima Alpha Kilo. Great to see this aircraft. I think that this is a very unique delivery there with the kind of it has like two eras combined into one with this livery, which is nice. So cool to see it and definitely will prove to be another very nice release right there. So that's awesome. And here we have a Redon Air or Ardon Air or Redon Air. I don't know. Airbus A330-300. Cool to get a 300. Nine X-Ray Romeo Whiskey Papa. We don't always get 300s with unique liveries like this. So cool to see this one. I think the livery is quite nice and will be great for anybody that's interested in that particular release. That's really cool. We have a Kenya Airways 77-8, high quality release, five Yankee Kilo Zulu Delta. So this has some elephants on the back, which is quite powerful. So always great to get their aircraft. I really want to get a model so I can represent it in the airport at some point. NG did one that I nearly got some, I think there may have been a Phoenix release actually, AI-24 that I almost got. But anyway, definitely want to get one of these sometime. Maybe this will be the one. We'll see, but definitely want more representation from that region to continue to expand the my collection's foot, uh, foot front. Excuse me. Another Atlas Boeing 777-200 LR. This might be a new aircraft because I know in-flight recently did, and now Phoenix is doing it here. It's November 703 Golf Tingo. Great to see. I think it's a really good look at the schema there on the 777 Freighter. Definitely going to continue to prove powerful and another great release right here. There's no doubt about it. Okay, let's try this one. Air... Nambaya, 767-300ER, Victor 5, November Mike Bravo, a very nice choice here, very diverse. Kind of looks like the Air 2000 tell a little bit, but regardless, this is a cool aircraft and always great to get a 767, 777, and 787 in a row, so quite fitting, but I don't think we're getting a 757 next, unfortunately. We're getting a 747 though, so the next best. This is gonna be a Bruni government or yeah, Bruni. I'm not exactly sure how that's said. I gotta get better at my pronunciation. Anyway, Victor 8 Bravo Kilo Hotel. Great looking aircraft, love the livery on it, love the stripes. It is a very powerful offering and no doubt will continue to be an asset for them for many years to come. So another very cool release right there. It's really great. Okay, Phoenix continuing. Wow, okay, so we have a really large release this month. This is great. Cathay Pacific 777-300 Bravo Kilo Foxtrot, uh, Quebec Foxtrot. Nice looking aircraft, of course, we're never gonna hurt for nor more Cathay Pacifics. Now that we have these large titles, you'll continue to see them. And yeah, the large titles are very interesting for sure, but I can't complain too much. I think they'll grow on us just like Air France. So that's what we have for that. China Airlines, McDonald's, MD-11, it's probably 151. Great looking livery right here, very cool and a very unique release. And I'm sure all the throwback China collectors are gonna be very happy about that. So very cool to see and no doubt a really awesome release right there. Aeroflot Cargo IL-96 Romeo Alpha 96102. Always for them, maximizing the use of the unique mold they have. Another great example of this one. Not much that I'm aware about, you know, regards to the IL-96, it's kind of out of my league with regards to knowledge, but you can see another one in production in the back of that shot, so cool picture for sure. 
Now we got the L Outbone 77-9. This is a really high quality release with the new titles. I'm very interested in this. 4X-Ray Echo Bravo November. Now I do have a 747-400 that I've kind of used hit or miss at the airport just to have LL represented, but this is definitely a nice one. And once again, I really like the new scheme. So definitely interested in this. So we'll see, maybe, but time will continue to tell. Okay, and then I'll take us into Aero Classics after these last two releases. So let's just go ahead and reveal them both at once just for fun. We got a FedEx MD-11. That's really cool. November 605 Foxtrot Echo. Great release right here. I'm sure that one will prove very powerful for all the collectors interested. And yeah, it's great to see Fiend continuing to expand their foot foot print there in the u.s landscape awesome to see and another very good release right there and we also have the eva era hello kitty bone triple seven three hundred er that we saw in the previous release reaction bravo one six seven two two so great to see this one added on to jc wings and the other company that did it as well so awesome releases right here this is really great and phoenix definitely did a really good job with these along with what InFlight did as well let me know what you think in the comment section below i'm eager to hear but i think phoenix once again did a really good job exciting to see these releases and really excited for what's to come here in the near future that being said that'll do for today's video everybody thank you all so much for watching i want to thank each and one of you for watching my name is Dredger of aviation take it easy everybody stay safe just process do what you love and love you do my name is Dredger of aviation i want to thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you all soon as Dredger of aviation is signing off what's going on everybody welcome Welcome back to Retro Aviation. Hope you're having a fantastic day today. And today we have the new Aero Classics releases for you all. I hope all of you are excited for today's video. Not exactly sure what month it is. I lost count. I think it might be September, but regardless, excited for the Aero Classics set. And I hope all of you are as well. Let's just go ahead and swipe right into it literally and see what it's all about. We're going to start here with the 1200 is Israel Air Force C46. And this is 138. And yeah, looking quite nice there. Really cool to see them continue to utilize that mold and it's definitely a powerful asset so cool to see that they're in the 1200 scale we also have another sub variant of it it's 1701 cool to see that one as well and again proven quite powerful with that unique mold that they have and they always knock out a couple of very unique 1 to 200 aircraft every single month so cool to see that one and definitely will prove quite powerful there to say the least uh that's a okay i guess there's only a handful this month okay very interesting but we'll get the all outdoor since we're here talking 737 300 it's november 75356 very cool to see one the 400 and i think that one will be a very popular offering so cool to see that aircraft and very cool one right there to say the least okay a northwest bowling shoe 747 400 it's november 7676 november whiskey very cool aircraft there they haven't used the 744 and but it feels like forever so very cool to see that aircraft i think it'll prove to be a really great release the color looks pretty good and overall i think they did a pretty good job on it so definitely a nice aircraft to see right there and once again really cool release so that one's very nice right there very cool okay we also have a sedan airways 737 200 the sierra tango alpha foxtrot lima another nice aircraft to see right here i think this is another really cool one so definitely a really nice looker there and a very unique livery with regards to the swoops there yet two blue ones and a yellow so cool livery some green as well and definitely will add some character to say the least very cool okay we also got an iraq or a uh, iraqi airways and this is a 737 200 it's yankee india alpha gulf india great looking aircraft right here it looks really nice i really like the scheme on it of course all of these schemes are really nice but this one definitely catches the eye too so cool to see this one in the 737 200 getting some much needed use so very cool to see that let's go ahead and scroll up just to see or, ah dang it that's not what i want to do okay let me pause this and i'll be right back once i have it reset up